started going to Paris, I think I was maybe 21 or something, 20. I prefer to use my bicycle or walk. Doing that slower paced version of Paris, you just see so much. It's a city that has got a very strong link with fashion. It's always full of inspiration and energy. The Boulevard Saint-Germain on the left bank is where the famous cafes are, Du Mago Café and the Café Floor. And that was a meeting point of the famous artists and poets and writers, famously Alberto Giacometti. And uh, his interest in the existentialist movement was based in the Café Floor. This is a hotel called L'Hotel, which is where I used to stay. It's in Rue Beaux-Arts. This is the Beaux-Arts school where I used to have the fashion show and then a breakfast at the Palette. And it was a, an area that I just fell in love with. The uh, Beaux-Arts school in Rue Bonaparte, right near to the Palette coffee shop. An amazing building, the vast space, which is actually where we've had a fashion show many, many times, with its wonderful tile floor, glass ceiling, but right next to it is still the School of Art. I think I love that connection when I've had fashion shows there. And the fact that there is literally the art school through the glass windows and next to where we're having the show. The other thing that was interesting about Paris is the volume of small art galleries, ceramic art, uh, painting, sculpture. They're just absolute love of art and objects that the French as a race and how passionate they are about it and how um, it's just very normal for them to be very interested in the world of art. Gallery Might is, is interesting for me because they were the major printers of art posters throughout France for many years. If you visit their gallery and shop on uh, Rue de Bac in Paris, you can buy prints from some of their artists and posters that go from quite reasonable prices. It's definitely worth a visit. It's a very nice place to go. Years ago, I was uh, introduced to a, a man that was called Lionel Poilin, the family member of the famous Poilin bread dynasty. It's considered the absolute best bread that you can get. He was such a character, uh, Lionel, and uh, uh, at one point he befriended uh, Salvador Dali and made a bread chandelier and bread furniture and again like many people in Paris he was the lover of the arts, he was the lover of French culture. We were invited to go downstairs to the oven where they were just putting in some loaves to be baked and I got involved at one point and managed to personalise a couple of loaves which was very exciting. 